Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to my blog. Today's video is gonna be about the iWalk 2.0, which is this device. Um, I got this when I got my second amputation, which was a below the knee surgery. And it was during COVID actually, and I couldn't get an appointment, it was terrible. So I got into panic mode and I was like, what am I gonna do? You know, I have, uh, I had three kids at the time and I, I, I was just like, no, I, I can't just sit at home with no leg for months. The best investment that I made was uh, I walk 2.0 and it is something like this. Uh, so I haven't used this in a while because I've used my prosthetic device since I, I got it. So I have really no need to use this and I had it just laying there before I thought of doing this review. It is actually something very useful to have. And this is missing uh, a strap, a strap. So you would put it on like this. Um, there's this strap right here. close it and just, just kind of just do it as tight as you can so it can hold you really good because you're a below the knee it usually has another strap here in the back but it's not necessary if you're a below the knee amputee like i am um some it's not long as you can see it's, it's so there's no use for that strap and then there's one here in the back which is missing that's pretty much and you just lean on it it's kind of hard stepping down but you have to be really careful so with my experience using the i walk 2.0 walking on on leveled surfaces or concrete is pretty simple the thing that is harder for me or was for me is like hills is something that i wouldn't really recommend using the i walk tool. um and then just pretty much just walking down this is easy or what's easy for me it just gets tiring um so this is uh, like in the concrete and then uh, in this type of surface it's also um, a little bit more difficult because there's like a lot of it's not even okay. I had it easy because I only have three steps um, so I don't really have to worry about this handlebar. Um, pretty simple. See, so this is pretty simple. You know, only in cases absolutely necessary. If you have nobody else to help you, um, this can totally work. If you have a, you know, a need for this device in this case. So the iWalk 2.0 is very comfortable. I would use it for up to like 30 minutes at a time, multiple times a day, like when I when I needed to get up and about. Um, I would even go like fishing. Um, I would use it to go outside and do all types of outdoors acti outdoor activities. I wouldn't like to miss out on anything. So I would put on my iWalk and I tag along with my husband and the kids. 
Um, yeah, because I would just be like, nope, there's no way that I'm just going to sit there at home with no leg. And, and then the crutches, I mean, I do like the crutches as well. But with the crutches, you can't hold stuff at the same time, you know. And with the I walk, you can be hands free. And like I said, you know, you can hold your baby. Like right now, if I were to uh, need the I walk, I would. It would totally be useful with my baby if I ever needed it. The grip. So, so the grip on these. Uh, the grip is great. You know, I have kids, I have dogs, you know, there's always water spilled, some, sometimes some type of liquid on the floor. I never slip. So quick short story. I went to the beach the other day and so my prosthetic leg slipped off my leg and I about got a heart attack and I immediately told my husband who was swimming right across me, babe, my my prosthetic leg it slipped off and like i was like had tears about to come down my eyes because i was like like a million things crossed my mind i was like oh my god i'm gonna be here i was in mexico like far away i was at a wedding we were at the resort with all the family um it would have been super bad if my prosthetic leg would have been lost at sea thankfully my husband like swam in that moment that i told him you know my prosthetic slipped off he immediately went under the water and after just a few seconds he's like i got it and he pulled out with it i was like yay but like i was very very happy that he was able to rescue my prosthetic because i could not imagine but in any case you know, I would have probably have to gotten home and use my iWalk 2.0 until I got another prosthetic device. Yeah, so overall, if you would ask me if I would buy the iWalk 2.0 again, I would definitely. Um, back then, I believe I bought it around two years ago and it cost like $150. And to me, it was worth it because I am a very busy person and I like to be very independent and I hate relying on other people to do stuff for me. So that gave me such a sense of like independence and it was just an awesome thing to be able to be on your feet after being without no legs for like the longest. So while I had to wait with this COVID situation, and my prosthetic leg took forever that uh, I walk 2.0 just you know came in at the greatest moment and it helped me out like in the bestest way well thank you guys so much for watching and just stay tuned for my next video and don't forget to subscribe bye